Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda. Welcome to Makeover Monday. Today we have a Spice from the LOL doll. She is the cutest little devil you've ever seen. And we are going to be transforming her into Bendy from Bendy and the Ink Machine. In the background, you can see Sugar, who we've transformed into Alice Angel. So isn't it perfect to be transforming Spice into Bendy? Bendy. I've started off by removing her eyes with some acetone and luckily her outfit's pretty simple. She's just gonna need a black leotard, a black onesie. So I'm gonna cover the entire body with a nice coat of black nail polish because I want this finish to be nice and shiny and slick just like ink, just like Bendy. While that polish is drying, I'm gonna work on the shoes really quickly these are her original shoes that we need to make look more like a boot so I'm gonna cut off the shoelaces with some scissors so that way the edge is nice and straight and I'm going to very very carefully use my exacto knife and try to scrape off the rest of the shoelace because it does have a slight texture to it and Bendy's boots are nice and smooth. I've put the little tiny shoes at the end of my paintbrush so I can go ahead and paint the entire outside without smudging the paint job. While that's drying, we're going to need to create a custom color for the LOL doll to get that really cool vintage yellow shade. I'm gonna be mixing up the colors buttermilk with a little bit of dark yellow and a tad bit of brown just to darken it up a little bit. Let's mix this up and if it's still too dark, we can add a little bit more of that light buttermilk shade. This came out so perfect. Let's use just a teeny tiny bit of this to give bendy shoes a slight reflection right at the tips and this small detail really makes the boots pop and look just like a cartoon and now that spices leotard has completely dried we can start painting her face using that custom color we just created I'm gonna go ahead and put two maybe even three coats of paint on her face Right now, it totally feels like I'm just putting some foundation makeup on Spice. Once all that has completely dried, we can start on the eyes. These eyes remind me of a stretched out Pac-Man. To get started, let's put a small arch down at the bottom of her eye socket. So about right here, just a slight bend. And then I'm going to mark right where the center of the eye is because that's where the top arch is going to be right in there and I'm just going to bring this up to create a long oval shape on one side and then draw in a V on the inner corner so that way it looks like it's missing a piece just like Pac-Man so you see it looks like a long Pac-Man shape let's fill that in and then do the other eye let's give her Bendy's mischievous little grin this might be just a little bit hard because her mouth is open so let's try to draw the mouth around the original one and hopefully it all just kind of blends in and looks looks okay. Let's draw the outline of his mouth first. This totally looks like I'm drawing a beard or like a little mustache on her, but I promise I'm not. I overpainted just a little bit, so let's take a little bit of that custom color and fix that. No big deal. All that's missing now are the lines in Bendy's little smile. So let's very carefully put those in using a super fine paintbrush. Gosh. 
all of the major paint jobs are done, now it's time to start putting in those fine little details that are really gonna make this custom pop. I'm gonna be using a little bit of Sugru, which if you watch my videos, you know I'm a huge fan of. It is an air dry rubber that I just personally prefer over air dry clay. I have rolled out a little ball in my fingers and I'm going to just wrap it around Spice's hand to make Bendy's glove and just using my nail there I was able to put in an indentation for the thumb I rolled out a long worm shape and I'm going to run that right around the wrist area and this is gonna give Bendy's gloves the perfect little cuff right at the edge. Let's repeat this on Spice's other hand and once the Sugru has completely dried, we can go ahead and paint the gloves using that same custom shade we made in the beginning. Once that yellow has completely dried, you can go in with just a teeny tiny bit of black to draw in some fine details like fingers if you wanted to on the gloves. Now the only thing that's wrong with this custom right now is that we accidentally overpainted Spice's hair. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of black acrylic paint now and I'm just going to redraw her hairline and cover up those areas where I accidentally got a little bit too much yellow. Let's go on to the rest of her accessories now. Here are her adorable devil horn headbands. On their own they are super cute but I want to make them look a little bit more like Bendy's ears so I'm gonna go in with some more Sugru and just make them a little bit wider and closer together to really resemble Bendy and then we can go ahead and paint them solid black. And the final accessory for this bendy makeover is the tie. Again, using some Sugru, I'm gonna put a little ball right on a plastic lid that I just had laying around, and I'm gonna add two longer pieces of Sugru right at the sides of that little ball, and I'm just gonna kind of mash it all together, let it dry, and again, using that custom color, I'm gonna paint the entire tie. Once it's dried, I'll glue it on spice. Let's get this outfit on her and take a look at this completed makeover. Here is Spice the LOL doll as Bendy. Oh my gosh, this transformation is absolutely adorable. The custom Bendy headband came out so awesome and what's really cool is that it's removable so any LOL doll could try it on if they wanted to. This is such an awesome mashup. Which mashup would you love to see made next? Any character, any toy, give me your best idea down in the comments below because every Monday this summer is Makeover Monday. And I want to create the coolest, craziest custom toys this summer. And just in case you missed it, I do have a brand new schedule for summer 2018. So go check out the latest channel update video for all of the details so that you don't miss out on any of the cool new videos coming out all summer long. Thank you so much for watching, little pandas. Until next time, bye.
You can follow me online to get the latest news and updates. Like my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash Manda Panda Toy Collector, or follow me on Instagram at Manda Panda Toy Collector. Want to mail me something? Guess what? You can mail it to Manda Panda P.O. Box 2855 Humble, Texas 77347.